Asling says, I am currently setting up regular cross company test testing sessions. Do you have uh, any tips on how I can introduce to teams who do not interact with the platform much, uh, i.e. marketing or HR, in a fun and engaging way? Well, I think what I described earlier was using the toys and games um, so, to introduce exploratory testing is a great way to do that. Was that was that with 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 uh, you know departments or teams like marketing and HR or? Well, I mean they were all go? they were all welcome because the whole office is welcome. I don't know, I don't know if any of those kind of people came, but I know for sure we had product owners and designers and uh, as well as developers do that. But I don't see why they wouldn't see it's fun too. I mean, everybody likes to play with toys, mm -hmm. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> People can all have fun imagining themselves as a kid doing something with a toy or, and you know, who wouldn't like to cut legs off a nano bugs. So uh, I, you know, I think it's, if you, if you test your own application, that's going to get kind of dry pretty quickly. And um, so if you could find a way to make it fun, I'm sure there are a lot of other games out there that could show the value, you know, when Janet and I do our, tutorials and when I do workshops with other people I try to find simulations to do instead of using a laptop because you can do kind of fun things uh, Abby Bangser and I a few years back did a distributed testing workshop at test bash where we actually made remote teams and we made them go in another room and their product <laughs> was to color these pictures with with and you know with the crayons, with the colored pencil, what do we use? We you know we just we just made it purposely vague, and we were terrible product owners, and um, and the remote people had very limited ways of communicating with their on-site team, and uh, and it's like well some of the pictures had a key, what the color, and then some didn't. But they were really simple pictures, but they didn't have a key. And what's actually easier? Like if you have requirements, is it easier? And so doing something fun like that, a simulation like that, can be super fun to show them. The mm. process of communicating, because it all goes down to communication, right? Mm. Our problems are all communication people problems. Uh, and that applies to testing as well as to coding. <laughs>